All right, what's going on guys? By now you have probably heard the news that we will be getting some DLC for Modern Warfare Remastered, which that's pretty good news, right? Like if you weren't around to play the original COD 4, they only released one map pack for that game. It was called the Variety Map Pack and it came out on April 4th, 2008 and it costed $10. Now keep that price and that date in mind because we're going to come back to that later. Now they have remastered mastered this exact same map pack and it will be coming out on March 21st on PS4 so that's about a little less than two weeks from now. Now let me just give you all the facts before we even get any further into it. All this information is from Charlie Intel. Link to the article in the description down below if you want to go check it out and read all of that but I'm just going to briefly give you all the information. So on March 21st on PS4 first I'm not sure about the Xbox date probably about a month later we can assume but you will get the remastered versions of four different maps kill house broadcast creek and chinatown pretty solid maps except for creek i think most people will agree that creek is one of the worst maps in cod 4 but broadcast and chinatown are solid kill house is good but it is really small if you have never played it before and also included in this map pack are 10 rare supply drops and you get all of this for the price of 15 dollars so obviously the issue here is the price point of course of 15 dollars and i I kind of just want to figure out like why they have picked this price and like what's going on here so first of all let me just say this of course we would love if this map pack was free you know it's a decade old it's a remastered game people have already bought it once you know 10 years ago it really wouldn't be that big of a deal to throw it to us for free I guess maybe there were some people out there who expected it to be free but I mean come on man like Think about who we're talking about here. We're talking about Call of Duty. We're talking about Activision. Did you really think this map pack was going to be free? Like, come on. But let, let's be honest here. Let's be real. There's no way you honestly thought they were just going to hand us four free maps. I mean, shit. They didn't even want to give us the original 16 maps. They only gave us 10. Finally, after months of everyone complaining and making a huge fuss about it, they're like, oh, you know what? We'll throw in the other six maps. You know, we'll throw them in a month after release, I guess. But they didn't even want to put in the original fucking maps, but you're over here thinking they're gonna give you DLC for free So let me just get that out the way like yes, it would be a super nice gesture It would be cool But if you really thought you were getting this for free you're lost You're new to Call of Duty or something like there's no way you could really think that that being said I'm not justifying the behavior at all I'm not saying yeah, this is acceptable what they're doing because it's really not acceptable whatsoever I'm just saying like I wasn't expecting this shit to be free, but at the same time personally just my own view on it I don't really have that much of an issue with paying for it because if we think about it logically these maps didn't come with the original game so why should they come with the remastered game it's a much different scenario than when they were trying to leave out actual maps that came with the game you know obviously we want those for free they're part of the fucking game but these maps didn't come with the game, so in reality, they don't really have an obligation to give it to us for free. It would be really cool, it would be a nice gesture, it would be awesome of them, but they're not about being cool. They're about stacking that cash, you know what I'm saying? So we're not going to get them for free. So that being said, let's talk about the actual price point because that is the major issue here. That's what everyone is discussing. So they're charging $15 for these maps. Here's the problem. They charge $10 for these exact same maps in 2008 that's why people are upset they have upped the price by five dollars now for some reason who fucking knows what which is what i'm gonna get into now we're gonna figure out what's going on here my first thought for this would be inflation of course right 10 years ago compared to now the price of things have gone up a little bit right but if you put the numbers into an inflation calculator you see here ten dollars in 2008 is equivalent to only eleven dollars and 28 cents in 2017 so we can kind of go ahead and rule out the entire inflation argument because this is even more than inflation would be so that's not the reason so I want to figure out why it is $15 and I'm also going to show you why that price is wrong and what the actual price is why is it $15 well for one I think the reason is because that's what map packs are going for nowadays so it seems to me they saw that like the black ops 3 map packs are $15 the infinite warfare map packs are $15 they're like okay map packs are $15 
$15 now, so let's just make this map pack $15. They just simply copy the price, right? But there's two issues with that. Number one, the new map packs actually require work to come up with the new maps. They have to figure out from scratch like how to design the map and all of that. There's work involved there. They're not just remastering a map that has already been developed. It's obviously easier to remaster a map than it is to create a brand new map from scratch. So there is more work going into the newer map packs. Now reason number two, the newer map packs also come with a zombies map or whatever the game mode may be depending on the fucking game you're playing. So that's even more additional content along with the four multiplayer maps. Bottom line, it's clearly more work and more content involved with the newer map packs compared to a remastered map pack. So clearly the remastered map pack is priced incorrectly. If we're just going to assume that the other map packs are correct, the remastered one is the one that has been priced incorrectly. So why did they do this, right? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It comes down to one thing. Does anyone have a guess of what it might be? I mean, I already briefly mentioned it in the beginning of the video. You might have caught it, but this map pack comes with 10 rare supply drops. Supply drops really do fucking ruin everything, right? So here's what they're doing. They're trying to throw in this little supply drop deal, and I say deal in quotation marks because unless they're giving it to me for free, I'm not going to ever consider any supply drops a deal because I don't fucking get shit in them anyway. So unless I'm getting it for free, I'm losing. But they are giving us... 10 supply drops for this price increase of $5 because the actual price of 10 supply drops, if you were to buy COD points and then purchase the supply drops, it would be $20 just for the supply drops. So that's honestly the only reasonable explanation I could come up with for why they would possibly price this at $15. All of the other map packs are $15 and they wanted this one to be the same. Obviously, it doesn't have as much content, so they threw in 10 supply drops and said, here, $15 for the map pack. Now, my simple response to that is, fuck off. Like, I don't want your stupid ass supply drops as part of my map pack. Just get rid of them, give me the maps alone, make the price normal, and we're good. That's it. Simple as that. So that leads me to the final topic. What should the map pack actually cost? Okay, well, if we look at the price of the actual game as a guideline, this is their price. They made the price. They're selling it for this. Modern Warfare Remastered costs $20 for the entire remastered game. You take the 80 and you subtract 60 for Infinite Warfare. You're left with $20 for Modern Warfare Remastered. So right away, you can see that they have charged $20 for a full remastered game. And they're now charging $15 for four remastered maps. This shit ain't adding up. Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. How is four maps almost the same price as an entire game? That doesn't make any fucking sense at all. So, let's just do a little math here, right? This is based off their own pricing. I didn't make this up. The original COD 4 in 2007 costed $60. So, they decided to price the remastered version at $20. That is one third of the original price. 60 divided by 3 is 20. Very simple math here, right? So, using their own guidelines, their own pricing that they have created for a remastered game, the remastered variety map pack should cost one third of the original price of the first variety map pack, which was $10. So divide that by three, we are left with $3.33. That's using their own logic. I didn't make this up. I didn't set up this price. I'm going off what they already did. So $3 is the appropriate price for this map pack. And that seems pretty reasonable to me. Right? I don't feel like too many people would be that upset if they had to pay three dollars for this map pack That's that's less than a dollar a map. I think you'll be okay It's not that big of a deal But instead they throw in ten supply drops and jack up the price to 15 15 compared to three doesn't seem like that big of a deal because we're dealing with small numbers here, right? But when you look at the percentages that is a five times more expensive product that is a five hundred percent increase in price and, and that's fucking crazy man like why are they increasing the price 500% of what it should be oh for 10 supply drops newsflash hello no one gives a fuck about your supply drops get them the fuck out of here quit trying to force supply drops onto me by adding it in map packs you know when they first added supply drops to Modern Warfare Remastered you couldn't even get on the fucking game until you opened one they forced you to open a supply drop they're trying to lure you in with a free supply 
supply drop that they make you look at and open, those probably had better odds than other supply drops. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, that might be a tactic they would use. I don't fucking know. That's just speculation. But just think about what they fucking did. Everywhere we look, they're just trying to force supply drops onto us. You know, they're even adding it into map packs now. It's just like, you know what? Fuck off with your supply drop. Sell me this map pack for $3 and go on about your day, man. It's, it's really not that hard. So anyways, that's it for the video, man. I think I pretty much covered everything I wanted to talk about. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you going to be buying this map pack for $15? I usually don't buy map packs, but I actually was considering this one when they announced Modern Warfare Remastered because I bought the original one back in the day and I do like these maps other than Creek, of course, but now that I've seen what's going on with it, I can't justify purchasing these maps. I can't justify me uploading gameplay of these maps because it's just wrong. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe they'll come to their senses and do something different with the map pack. Probably not. But if enough people make videos about it, if enough people say something, maybe we can have a change, you know, like we did in the beginning of the game. If I didn't make videos and if other people didn't make videos about that and if the community as a whole didn't complain that we weren't getting all 16 maps, they weren't going to add the those other six maps in the game i can almost guarantee that it's only because people were upset so maybe if enough people get upset about this they will come to their senses as well i guess we'll just have to wait and see so anyways thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out